Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and clicking on this. I mean, it's gonna be like the most uneventful few minutes of your life. I know, I'm, I'm terrible about uploading because you know what? Beach has a full-time job. Anyway, cheers. Today's beverage of choice is called Opaline. It is a Brut Rosé. It actually says that it's a Pinot Noir. So it's like a red, but mixed with a rosé. Regardless, it is amazing. Actually, over Thanksgiving, my family and I polished off like six bottles, 11 and a half percent, which is a little low for my taste. However, it is a champagne. So the bubbles, the bubbles get to your head, $7.99 at Trader Joe's, $7.99. I get a good buzz when I drink this whole bottle. Cheers, my friends. So what are we reviewing today? For my last video, I was wearing eyelash extensions, right? They're gone now. Why? Because it's good to take a break in between fills. Your natural lashes start falling out and then, you know, I just look like a freaking bald ass eagle. It's not cute and it sucks anyway because I'm Asian and we don't have an abundance of lashes to begin with. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So I want to preserve them as much as I possibly can. So I decided to stop getting fills and start using serums. This video isn't about serums, but it is along the lash line. <laughs> along the lines of lashes. And I will have to say I am a cheater. I have already worn these, like a, a full entire night. What are we talking about? We are actually talking about Ardell Aqua Lashes. I came upon these because I was going to my cousin's wedding and I had my lash extensions taken off while I was going to use my magnetic lashes, but the eyeliner dried up because it had been a while since I used it. So, so if you guys watched my Glamnetic eyelash video, which I will put up here if you wanna watch it, um, the eyeliner eventually dries up. Good to know. So I stopped off at a Sally Beauty Supply. We all know Sally Beauty. And I came upon these Ardell Aqua Lashes. I am not good with lash glue, period. But these aqua lashes state that no adhesive is needed. You just dip it in warm water and you just place it on your lash line. Excuse me, what? Nothing in my life is that easy. Nothing. Like, I can't even go to the bathroom. I'm gonna stop that sentence right there. Anyway, so these aqua lashes I found have a water activated lash band. I am going to apply them on camera for you guys to see how easy it is. So, this is the packaging. I got three styles actually, and they go by numbers. So this one is 341. 340, they're upside down because I already opened them. <laughs> and then these are 343, but these are the ones that I wore to my cousin's wedding. Bear with me, I gotta go get like a bowl of water. I'll be right back. <laughs> So when I first tried these on, I just took the lashes and put them under warm water under the sink. But because I'm sitting on the floor of my bedroom, I went and got some hot water. I am going to try 341. I'm gonna do it with no tweezers. I'm literally just gonna take my fingers There you be. Obviously, you're gonna see that the shorter part is going to go in my inner, and that's gonna go in my outer. You can cut them down to fit your eyes, but let's not do it this time. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna dunk it into the warm water. Okay, let's go ahead and just place it. Top of my lash line. I will say that you should cut this end here before you put it on. Oh my god, I should have cut it. Okay, 
I went and got a pair of scissors and I'm actually going to cut the end. Dunk it in water again. Okay, so now the entire lash is wet. I swear. I can't ever do anything like easy, you know? Boom. How easy was that? Too damn easy, right? Let's do the other side. Take it out. What is this, like Zach proof? Which, be careful when you're yanking on it. Okay, so again, I'm gonna cut the ends, if you could see. It pokes out there. I'm gonna cut that off. This is coming from someone who doesn't even know how to apply lashes with actual glue. This is pretty effing innovative, if you ask me. Can we get a zoom in, please? Oh, that's slow-mo zoom in. I think that looks cool. Obviously, you gotta like tuck it in, push it in, let it dry, because it is still kind of wet. That's what she said. I mean, these are so easy to put on and take off. I actually wore to my cousin's wedding, and I'm gonna tell you right now that they lasted all night. That's what she said. <laughs> I did not have to worry about them coming off or anything. They lasted all night. That's what she said. Through a wedding reception, and my family likes to party. We like to drink, we like to dance. They didn't budge. And you know what? They don't feel heavy. I mean, it feels like you have lashes on, obviously, but it's not heavy as hell. So let's talk about price really quick. I found these at Sally Beauty Supply, and I think there's one at least in every town across America. These were under $9. $9! You can actually get a three pair gift set for $6. I don't know if these are reusable, to be honest with you. That's something that you're gonna have to try out on your own. And I'm just, I'm too damn lazy to do it because it's Friday night and I've worked an entire week at work and I really don't feel like it. Anywho, okay, so my actual review of these lashes is that I like them. If you need a quick fix, like I did for my cousin's wedding, I needed something really quick. I didn't have time to fuss with glue or magnetic eyeliner, nothing. Literally, I took these babies out and I dunked them in water and I slapped them on my eyelids. Sold. So anyway, that's the review. Go buy them. Tell me if they're reusable or not. Yeah, this was like the laziest video I've ever done. Ooh, actually, you know what? You get a two-in-one today. I have so many red lipsticks, but you have to find that perfect one. You get to see me try on this red lipstick from Fenty, and I'll tell you how it feels, how it looks, etc., etc., etc. So you guys get a bonus. I gotta find it first. Fenty, this is her Stunna lip paint. The color is uncensored. Beach. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Look how pretty it is! This color better be effing immaculate because this packaging is like Christmas in a bottle. <laughs> I actually have not taken this out of the tube and tried it on because it looks really pigmented. So here's the one. Here is the product. Like effing butter, baby. Oh my god, look at that. Look how beautiful, look how beautiful that is. I feel like I should prep my lips with a little chapstick, maybe. Can you bring me my chapstick? Because super dry. Just a little bit. I'm not talking like layer that shit on. I have this thing about chap lips. I don't like chap lips. They can't be looking crusty shit. But my lips hurt real bad. Ooh. Are we ready? Let's try it. <laughs> this reminds me of, um, what's her face from Star Wars? Queen Amaretto. Armadillo. Here we go. Oh, it's got this smooth consistency. Almost like nail polish. Oh, baby, this wand. Ooh. This is a formula that I have never run into. Oh my God, my lips are crooked. Um, excuse me? Have we just met the most perfect red lipstick? Oh my god, it's like, 
Uh, yeah, you gotta be sure where you put this shit because it will stain. Seriously? Seriously, Zach, you can't even just put lipstick on. You have to be super careful about touching anywhere on your face. Oh my god. Look at my hands. Oh my god. Oh my. Look at this color. This is gorgeous. It looks so velvety smooth and soft. But if I were to kiss someone right now, I would wreck their face. And I would wreck my face. So I do not recommend this as um, a date where you're going to kiss somebody but bitch re re i will tell you that it is 18 dollars 75 on fentybeauty.com it is like luxury hold on yeah don't make out with anybody <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that concludes this short and sweet video. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. I will see you back in the next video. Thanks, love you, bye. Do I look like Mr. Rogers in this letter? Hey man, it's winter time in the Pacific Northwest, so I'm cozy. I just got it, it's from J. Crew. It's super comfortable and super cute. So suck it. Only if you hate it though, if you love it, thanks. How am I gonna get this shit off? <laughs> I just beat out my own hand. Dude, my cousin's wife got me these glasses from Crate and Barrel that are the size of my noggin. They're super thin, which makes the alcohol taste better. And they're huge, so you don't realize how much you're filling it up. This is the rest of that bottle, you guys. Like, I have almost finished an entire bottle of wine.